was Dantos in data over alleged harassment by security operatives. Members of the Association of Resident Doctors at the Federal Medical Center, FMC, as about data state, on, when, on Thursday night withdrew their services indefinitely over her alleged harassment by security operatives enforcing the lockdown directive. The lockdown order was issued by the state government as a measure to prevent the spread of the deadly coronavirus disease, otherwise known as COVID-19. President of the Harad Asaba FMC chapter, Osifo Patrick Mwabuno, told newsmen that since the lockdown started on April 1st, health workers have been witnessing constant harassment, allegedly by the police, even when they present valid means of identification as essential service product providers. Mwabuna alleged that the harassment came to a climax on Thursday when a doctor who was rushing to Okpanam for an emergency was stopped and harassed, heading that when other colleagues came to his rescue, they were allegedly sprayed with tear gas. He said as a result of the constant harassment, the doctors were embarking on total shutdown of their services indefinitely until our safety and security is guaranteed. Mwabuna stated that the association was not uh, callous to embark on the indefinite strike in this trying period of COVID-19 crisis, but that they cannot continue to uh, discharge their life-saving functions in an environment of constant threats and security. These are challenging times in view of the COVID-19, but if our safety is not guaranteed, we will maintain the total shutdown, he stated. Mwabuna listed three conditions, including that no health worker should be harassed when he or she presents a valid means of identification, that, time, that items destroyed during the Okmanam issue should be replaced, and that adequate security should be provided within the confines of the hospital before they could return to work. He also raised an alarm about the few of progressive kits of for frontline health workers across both federal and state hospitals, and appealed to the authorities consigned to provide the kit and as well as increase the hazard allowance for the frontline caregivers. You see, when I talk and say all these uh, uniform people, they don't know it than they do. Some people say until they talk, I talked too much. So what, are, what, what is the meaning of all this? Somebody present uh, an ID card to you that will enable you to identify the person. You said no, you don't allow person what can make it go where they go, a doctor. But these people, are they not exempted? Now, what for these people? Why are they like this? At least these people, they see on that uh, undergo training before they, they, they enter service or whatever. Why are they behaving like this? These people, they have been causing problems since this lockdown of a thing in Delta State. The other time, that was how they killed one Joseph Peshu in a worry because they asked him to stop. The boy did not stop. I know that one was a, the boy disobeyed. They chased the boy. At the end of the day, they shot him three times. Was he a criminal? You are trying to protect people from one uh, virus and you are acting as if you are the virus yourself. What is all this? These are doctors that are meant to save life. They are meant to save uh, uh, hum humans. When they stop them, they may not go to hospital. Even when their colleague came, that see, oh, this person is a doctor. Mba, you know, agree. 
what you did was to spray tear gas on them. Does it mean that when people are on this uniform, they don't reason where or why? Why did they choose to be behaving like this? The same this matter of this coronavirus in Abuja, police beat woman, die. That one die. They beat the woman, so they, the woman can't die. You say you are protecting them from this virus, and you are the virus himself killing people before they contact the virus. This is not fair. Another, another, another scene again I saw in Port Harcourt was a, 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 a woman selling fruit. They say, wait, make her come out. What they did, they used cutlass and, and slice all our fruit on the ground. In fact, when you see this thing, you will shed tears. How much is she using to do that business? Simple and fine. Talk to people in a way they will understand. But these people, they don't have it. All their own, wah, 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 all the time. They see people when they're supposed to fight, they could not even do anything. If all this strength these people are using on civilians, they used it on uh, this um, Boko Haram set. In fact, Nigeria for not be in this situation when we say Boko Haram people just see Nigeria finish, they keep people anyhow. Why they not use this, all these authorities or the whatever on these people? They could not. But once they see a civilian like this, their hair will charge. They could begin to do anyhow. What of in the course of doing this thing? One, one of them, their mother or their wife, got sick. Who is going to attend to the person? The, the, gov the, the, the governor said doctors that are uh, exempted. Those people that is in uh, on uh, essential services, they are exempted. Why are you delaying them? Why are you harassing them? Even when they, they provide a means of identification, they gave you their ID card, they say no. They should not go. So what else do you want them to do? I think at this juncture now, the, the governor of uh, Delta State should call his, peop his people to order. He should call the, the, the so-called uniformed people to order. They should do their job diligently. They are not there to fight civilians. They are there to protect them. Because why they are there is when people see them on this uniform, this fear of this stay at home, they will have it. They won't be able to be moving, moving up and down. But the way they are going about it is, 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 is like they want to even stage fight with the civilians. You want to kill them before the virus finish, get to them. This is very, very unfair. The government should talk to them. Let them learn sense if, if, if they don't know. Make them learn sense. What did they, they do no good? If you don't look at this matter properly, now the next thing they will raise gun, they will start shooting. Is it where they're supposed to raise their gun? They see people that they're supposed to shoot this gun, they did not. But innocent civilians, every little thing, they want to raise gun. Every little thing, they want to exercise their strength, their power, whatever. This is very, very unfair. So if these people now, at this critical time, now they are said they are going for for indefinite strike because of their harassment, because of the harassment they are getting at this particular time that they are all needed. You're even supposed to be respecting these people because every other person is there at home, relaxing. But because of their kind of job, they want to go there and save lives. You 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 are you are still you are still harassing them. Is it fair? This is not good enough. So these people, they should be talked to. They should lecture them how to uh, approach individuals. They should lecture them how to talk to civilians. They should lecture them how to approach people in a matter like this. This is not war front. Nobody is warning anybody. Nobody, they go war. Nobody, they fight war. So they should learn that. That is just it. The government should talk to them. So I'm going to drop it here, guys.